All right, so I'm finally getting around to doing the video on upgrading this uh, SPI receiver antenna. This is the stock antenna here, and um, if you, I did a video earlier, if you guys are just seeing this for the first time, on replacing these antennas, and this is a follow-up video. I'm going to incorporate some of the changes that were suggested in the first video. And one of the changes they wanted, I guess people were suggesting, is making the, the connection from the ground, from the, the shield, not so long, because I had that one wire going from the antenna uh, ground shield to the back battery lead, which was way too long. And instead I found on this board here, if you look at these capacitors right here next to the antenna, these two here, um, on this side of the capacitor, they're both connected to ground. You can test that by uh, connectivity test to um, with a multimeter to ground. So I tested that and it uh, I can just connect basically the ground part to there. It's pretty short and that's the signal right there. And so I'm just going to use the, these are basically the same antennas and uh, actually I cut off the UFL connector. I'm going to make it shorter, it's not as long as the other one. And I made the active length here uh, people point out that 31 millimeters is not correct. So uh, this is like I think 28 millimeters. This is basically the same length as what's on an XM Plus receiver stock antenna. So I cut that to there and I just put a little bit of heat shrink here to basically give it some strength so it doesn't get bent and break off. Um, but yeah, this is shorter now. So those of you guys that said that that'll give you better results, I'm going to give that a try as well. Reducing the ground length is here as well. And then I'm going to have this come out of the top right here and it should be clear of the battery. Use this little zip tie there to hold it in place. And then the last thing I did, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, change the RSSI offset. So when you're right next, to, when you put the transmitter right next to the antenna, it's around 80 and not 100. So I increased it to basically 100 by putting an offset of 20 in the CLI. And so you, that's what you can see on the video. You'll see when I'm flying close to me, it's in the 90s, which it should be and then they get further away. You'll see that it um, you know, goes down. And I, I, I think uh, when I was flying it on the previous test with the stock antenna, I was getting um, RSSI, or sorry, the telemetry lost warnings around, I think it was around 150 to 175 meters. And when I used the extended antenna, external antenna on the X-Lite, from that previous video, I think it was going closer to 300, like 275, 280 meters in that one. I forget, I'll refer you to that video as well. That's the second video, in the, I guess, in this series of the SPI antenna. And then this is now the third one. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the antenna and I'll show you, I guess I'll use the external antenna as well on the x and compare you, compare, see if it makes any difference on this setup here. And we'll see if uh, I can go further than I did earlier on the other, model. I think there I wasn't really going that far away. I'm going to go a little bit further. I'm trying to try and go at least 300 meters away. So if you can do that um, with an SPI re receiver and this kind of antenna setup, 300 meters should be plenty for something like this size here, which is the goal of this whole project. All right, so the last time I was here, I was getting uh, RSSI warnings. Um, right about here, or telemetry lost, telemetry recovery warnings, initially. And I'm not getting that now. So let's go a little further. It's interesting how these RSSI numbers are not bouncing around as much now as before. No, no telemetry lost warnings still. This is about 200 some meters away. Oh, the wind is starting to get pretty bad. All right, let's keep going a little bit. Lost. All right, so now I'm getting telemetry lost warnings here. This was about the same spot I was getting them before when I was using the extended, uh, the extender or the, uh, exter sorry, the external antenna. So. No external antenna on this first test. I'm going to go ahead, bring it in, and I'll do, um, I'll install the external antenna, see if I can go a little bit further. So it looks like it's a little bit better than before, but again, not a huge improvement. All 
All right, so now I'm using the uh, external antenna. And when I'm about to here, I'm going to seem a little bit better. All right, let's just go straight out. No warnings. Yeah, the numbers definitely look a little bit better here with the external antenna. So this diamond here, this baseball diamond is about 300 meters away. The numbers are a little bit better. No telemetry lost warnings. And I don't want to go over those trees just in case I fail safe. But yeah, with uh, so this is basically the SPI antenna, uh, or the extension, plus an external antenna on my X light, and I can get about 300 meters away, and I'm not getting any telemetry lost warnings at all. So it's not bad, better than expected. I was getting telemetry lost warnings without, with the external antenna on the standard SPI antenna. So um, no, no warnings whatsoever. Let's go over here and go over to my left here. No warnings over here. And looks like my battery is pretty low. Gonna have to bring it on in. All right, I'm gonna try another spot here. See if I can go a little further away. And I'm running um, RSSI scale now instead of RSSI offset. I was noticing that the bottom end was at 50. It should be at 30 something, so. All right, so getting some bad video right now. And I'm running the uh, external uh, infinity antenna. No uh, telemetry lost warnings at all. So right here is about 500 meters. And that's about as far as I feel comfortable going uh, with, uh, even with all the enhancements. And my RSSI is in the 60s, so. Uh, and also keep in mind that I am pointing the antenna at the drone because this is a directional antenna. So something to keep in mind. Probably go even further, but I don't feel like walking that far. If you guys are like looking to get more range out of your SPI receiver, I think that just doing a couple of these modifications and using this infinity antenna will get you that extra range. And no annoying telemetry lost warnings. That was that's that always, that always the worst. Anyway, so I think that's gonna conclude my testing here on, on this. I'm gonna possibly do a different board, or maybe the Mobulus 6 board in a future video. If that's something that interests you, let me know and I will look into making that video. Anyway, talk to you guys later.